like folks to a frenzy. Right, I'm doing a video response to Mad Dog's question he asked me in one of, in my, my last in one of my videos about my belt system. About do I cut the belt? Do I carry if I stake it? And do I carry if I stake it on my belt? The answer is, I did. I carry mine on a drop leg, and I've been carrying a first aid kit on a drop leg for some time. I did actually have this pouch itself on my belt at one stage. I didn't like it because I couldn't carry everything I needed, so I had to, I took it off and put it back on the drop leg. So yeah, but before we go into that one, I do carry a quick deploy first aid kit still. And it is still in the same pouch, the only difference is I've just changed the clip to a Cobra clip now. It's the same stuff as before, it's still got the um, SWAT Teak Corner K, it's still got an Israeli bandage, a foil, foil blanket, some gloves, um, some steroid wipes now, sterilised wipes, and a mini glow stick. So that's all still the same, new enough. So I don't really need to show you that one. Let's get that one out of the way. This one here is my main first aid kit. I have some gloves in this pouch here. They're not sterilized gloves, they're just gloves what come out of a box and I just put them in here to make sure I've got some. Down the bottom here in that in this bit here, that there is a glow stick. It's it's something I just didn't want showing all the time because it is a anyway, a white um glow stick wrapper and i just didn't like the idea of that having that all sticking out and just going oh yay then on this side i carry um the tunnel k i think it's called i'm not even saying sure that don't quote me on that one and um behind that i do carry a um cheap ish pair of scissors and i do carry some other scissors yeah, these are the scissors I could carry. I keep these at the top of my rucksack or on one of the side pouches. They are like they are good. They're not lemon. If you ask before you ask, these are just a cheap version. And um, yeah, I highly do recommend these because they are good to have. But they are quite. There is a bit of weight to them, so be careful on that if you want to go up to white light. Yeah, uh, showing back onto my pouch, you can see here there's a red. So I can't see my eyes properly, that's the reason why I'm saying the way I'm saying it. There's a red power cord lanyard with some black power cord and a fair rod. There's a red or pink, technically, um, glow tag, but it glows green for some reason. I don't ask me why. And on the handle, I have a red handle with black power cord as well. I have my first aid pouch and in here I have some alcohol wipes as well as some soap sheets so you can clean your hands and like that all at the same time right and this is what I like about it that could be on my leg and I can just take my main body my, uh, my first aid stuff off my bare leg so I'll put that to one side so yeah so before I start this is just me. There's two farewell toggles on there, and there's three feet of fire cord on the zip. It's just me. You don't have to do that. So we'll go into it. As you can see, it is pretty full. Um, I have got some first aid tape. I think it's zinc, zinc um, something tape. Um, this is to do with your fingers if you cut yourself. Sorry about that guys, I've, not, I've just been really tired all day. So that's them. As well as another foil blanket. I do carry quite a few of these off for let you know. There's another type of um, finger protector. Still the same, I still carry the white lens. I carry multiple bandages. I do carry these, and these are tooth swabs, and I thought it was the best thing to carry, and so I put some of them in, 
my pack gets in a bit properly in a minute. I do have one of these self-adhesive bandages, I think they're called. The bandages are what they stick to themselves. So I've got this in for because of the dog, the doggy dog, and I've got it in just in case if I do something stupid myself. I do carry a mini bit in here. And yes, it works. I do have an atom light in here, just in case I'm using this in the dark. I do have some steroid, sterilized solution. I have two of them. On either side. I do carry some of this liquid skin as well in here. I have a compress, compressed gauze. I thought they were lovely, what I got from them, so I thought I'd add it in here. I have a triangular bandage. It's not a necessity for me, but it's good to have just in case. I mean, not necessarily to me. I do have my smag, smag, whatever you want to call it. I do have that, and I use that a lot on so many different things. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not an emergency for me. I've only just recently put this kit together, and that is a bind kit. There is some bind gel in here, there's some bind plasters in here. I have one of those bind plastic bag type things. I'll get it out and show you. I have one of them, bind bag, in here as well. So that's everything. What is in my first aid kit? We're gonna end it up. We're gonna end it here, guys. But but before I end it, I am qualified as a first aider. I am qualified. I don't even know what you want to call it, but I'm qualified where you got cut big cuts and just use a tourniquet. I know how to use that. That's the reason why I carry it. I don't recommend carrying something you don't know how to use, and I don't recommend you just go along and copy other people's kits because it's not personalized to you. And something like that and you might have noticed there's no medication in this in this pouch i don't believe in putting medication in with my first aid kit i'd rather have them separate so thank you very much for watching we appreciate every minute of every second i don't make sense then we appreciate you every second of every minute you gave us here at bloomer fence please let please join here with bloomer fence and thank you very much and we'll see you soon